Welcome back to episode 15 of the Beast Slayer Legends mod series. We have done a bit of our patrol quest at the moment. Uh, we just had an unhold fight, as far as I can remember. And where's our loot? Pretty decent loot. Uh, we got a bunch of injuries, though. Uh, crushed windpipe. Man, these the injuries last a while. Crushed fingers don't last long. But fractured ribs, three to four days. Windpipe was three to five days. Yeah, it can be pretty rough with some of these heavy injuries and a bit of damage taken. We are really suffering on tools and supplies, so we've got to deal with that somehow. We've got nothing, nothing left. Uh, we can break down some of these crappy armors. Yeah, that's probably the best we can do. Um, these helmets, get rid of the 35s, because we have 45s and 40s. Yep, that's worth it. And... There's not much else we can really play around with. Uh... Just gonna have to go shopping. There's gotta be some sort of... Oh, I remember these guys have such horrible prices. We can also do a bit of crafting too, that's nice. Saves us some money. We're meant to be going south. Very low chance they're going to have good tools. Ruins is not a good sign. Maybe C-Stat might have something nice. We still have to try and capitalize on fighting things soon. Maybe we can do a quick camp. Trying to salvage as much as possible with our new people. And maybe a little bit of healing. That would be nice too. Actually, mostly healing seems to be the right choice. Yeah, that doesn't make much of a difference. Oh well. Here we go. Racing a horse. Athletic man snake or fattest man ingalog. Oh, I can't remember the benefits. Uh, the fattest man usually gives you a very happy party because they all laugh at him. Analog's the tank. She's our shield maiden. But you get slightly permanent stats depending on who you choose. And it's usually like plus one fatigue. They also could get injured too, that's also not so great. And it's 600 crowns. You always lose though. There's no way you ever beat the horse. Maybe even with the athletic, I think they might tie with the horse or something, but there's no way you can win. Uh, eeny meeny miny. Ugh. could go with the tank. I know Snake could possibly try and race the horse as an athletic guy, but I think the tank could get a permanent stat. I guess maybe Snake could. Okay, let's go with Snake. There we are. Snake gets plus one maximum fatigue. That's good. It's the closest one he's seen in years. Yeah, there's no way you ever beat the stupid horse. And we lost 600 bucks to give Snake one maximum fatigue, which is good. But, you know. Is that it? Is that all we got? Everyone's healed up. We're still out of tools. Everyone's looking a little bit better. So much more to repair. Probably shouldn't repair that helmet, because we don't need to. Helmets are good for the moment. Man, we still need so much to repair. Okay, let's head south. Oh, Giant footprints are so scary. <laughs> I couldn't tell what it was. That's an ally, and that... Is that worthwhile fight? 
Okay, let's do it. If we can get the company to assist us. There we go. If we join this fight, uh, we just need to steal kills from the... Yeah, we joined on the side of the map. I thought so. 52... Okay, this is going to be really slow. Ah, oh, come on. They're taking forever. Maybe we shouldn't have done this fight. There's a lot of dogs getting killed. And these footmen are gonna wreck. We're just trying to get in and steal a couple kills. Fifty-one, a dog's dead. Another dog dead. Put some really cool helmets on our friends. Oh, there's a nomad. Not sure if we'll get there in time. That's sort of the worry. Some really cool, interesting weapons. Snake, you still have your crushed finger, but you did almost beat a horse. Not really. So that was interesting. Uh, with these guys stuck at the back, they're really not worth doing anything with. Uh, Catalan can still possibly snipe something. Standard bearers, arbalists, some really fancy backgrounds and stuff here. Uh, which are actually unlockable in some of the newer patches. I don't think it's in this patch, though. But arbalists and footmen, which are normally these guys, you can actually recruit them now. Which is very interesting. And I've heard they're not too bad. Oh, come on. Hits Gertrude on a 32%. Really want that guy. That's the best... Yep, that is the best... Uh, what's it called again? Two-handed cleaver. In the game. Is it safe to move here? One, two, three, four... No, it's not. Oh, Gertrude could get a kill if they don't get stolen. Definitely possible. Aha, uh -huh. there you are, buddy. We are going to try and steal that cleaver. Because technically... Oh, actually, let's go for this kill. So Catalan? Come on. Dang it. We're trying to get that collateral. Nice! Jasper just got it. That was a tough shot at night time to get. And we got our first kill. That's one free kill for our quest. This is our two-handed cleaver person. Who is level seven? No. No, this is Roscoe. Where's the two-handed... Oh, okay, so Roscoe's okay. We can put Roscoe in a little bit of danger. There we go. That makes the slinger run away. That's good. That's not a bad spot to sit into. Clarity gives such a nice usefulness. Orbane, your armor is not repaired. And because it's not repaired, that's going to hurt. Maybe we rush down here. They're all engaged, so technically that's a good spot. 
technically. Riviera can go here, but can't attack. So then we go up this way. Sure. Oh, they stole the kill. Gotta get used to that. Marco's doing good. When you're in fights like these and you want to steal kills, waiting a lot is really good, because then you can steal kills like that guy. Uh, but we did not wait too much, because we're trying not to waste too much time. And trying to move up at the same time. Getting a little crowded. Godfrey's never getting him there with that broken leg that he has. That's one of the main problems. Let's hope she's okay. Kind of want to knock him off that perch. That's safe. No, 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 you guys sit at the back. You're fine. Okay, I don't know why they're taking so long to do their turns. Uh, Koro can just wait for the moment. Oh, really? We can't see that square? I think that's kind of stupid, that we can't see the square, but the allies can. So there's an enemy in that square. But we can't tell which one it is. Uh, can we steal a kill from someone? No, we can go up here and try and get that kill. Okay, do we want to go for the collateral or go for the actual hit? Let's go for the actual hit. Dang it. Oh, well, that's a good spot for Catalan to be in. And we might just put Jasper over there as well. He's breaking the shield. That's a little worrisome. Nice damage. Mm, we'll not do anything with you, buddy. Just to be safe. Uh, Roscoe, let's go and surround. Riviere. Beautiful. Okay, how do we do this with Marco? Uh, he's finished his turn, so can we knock him off? No, we missed. Not caring about his armor, because I don't think we can successfully surround him and steal his armor. He's a little too dangerous on that high point. Uh, is this safe? Yeah, technically. Except I think there is someone in there. Yep, there's someone in there. Fine, we'll do it anyways. Oh, it's an ally! Why can't we see allies in there? But beautiful kill. Beautiful 30% hit. There's only six enemies left, and we've stolen a couple kills. 90%. Dang it. Dang it. Uh, we can rush in, but there's not much else we can do. Okay, there's three enemies left. Oh my goodness, really? You couldn't knock him off? Okay, I guess we're just surrounding a guy on a hill.
Oh, the only problem that we have is uh, allies that are in fights with you like this, which doesn't always happen, but if you're very good at collecting allies into fights like this, you've got to be super careful because they don't give a crap about uh, missing shots that hit your friends. So this Arbalester, if we surround this enemy, which is what we're going to do, um, that Arbalester will still shoot at the enemy, even if it could hit us. So you can get killed by your allies because they're stupid. Uh, so be wary of that. That is a very common thing that happens when you have a lot of allies that are ranged. Beautiful shot. I don't know if we can get that kill, though. Yeah, no. Dang it. Roscoe, let's put yourself into some melee. Nice, we got a daze. Riviere with the double hit. Oh, I just hope they don't snipe it now. There's two enemies left. Orbane, please stop them from flanking. Good. We don't want them stealing the kill. And then Thistle has to run in. Oh, he's fleeing and he's got nine lives. Oh, I forgot that guy was still there. Dang it! No, I think we gave up a kill. Oh, Bowjman has a chance. Dang it, I think we screwed up. Yup. Oh, he rotated and got the kill. That's annoying. Camilla didn't get the hit. Oh, it was a 38%? Ouch. Come on, girl. Nice! She gets the kill. So we got one, two, three kills? Four, maybe? And yes! Yes! We got the best two-handed cleaver in the game. That's awesome. Uh, we can't use it just yet, because we don't have anyone that's good enough. And we got 138 bucks, too. That's nice. Such a good cleaver. And then we got, yeah, four heads. Nice. Oh, it just means more things to repair. Uh, we can break down the shield. That helmet is useless. Uh, the armor isn't that amazing, but we already have that. Okay, let's keep going. We didn't take much... Oh, thank goodness I stopped that quick enough. I like that fight, but we are not in the position to fight that. We have no tools, and everyone's broken. Okay, we're heading east. We have to be careful. It says return within three days, and if we run out of time, we get zero money. Oh no, what's the price? What's the price? 367? We have no choice. We have to buy these tools. Uh, we can sell the first for 400. That's not a bad price. We can sell a couple of the unhold hearts. And... What else is there to sell? They're selling at 18? Good, good, good. We can actually sell the deformed valuables for a thousand bucks in total. Drone figurines for 200. Uh, splinters, we don't really use them too much, and they're now at a good price. We'll leave two of them just in case. Uh, what else don't we need? There's not much else. That we don't need, though. We have a spare pike. Did we just get that in the fight, or am I just forgetting that we have a spare pike? I might have been just been forgetting. Um, our new guys could definitely use it. Probably this one. Yeah, extra 10% chance to hit and a better weapon. Yeah, that'll work. 
What else are we forgetting? Or is our food okay? A little bit low. That's better. Uh, cloth is a bit expensive at the moment. That's a very cheap tower shield. Okay, we'll get it. Anything else interesting? Some cheap armor? That's a very cheap 65. Another very cheap 65. Wow, this town is really nice to us. Uh, the armor attachments are a little expensive. Yeah, we might not do that. Okay. Now, with the armor that we just got... Who needs it? Ah, uh, yep, Roscoe needs one. Let's shuffle all this inventory space. Uh, but it needs to be repaired, as usual. Uh, Orbane desperately needs one as well. Very nice. 130, and Roscoe's at now 105. That's nice. Some of our weaker people can use a little bit of heavier armor. And we can quickly salvage for a quick hour, I think. It's a few hours, actually. They chased us. Oh, sometimes it's good to have a scout to notice if people get attacked. Oh, but it's not a not a hard fight. Slightly annoying with the range that they have. Also, did some peasants... Oh, they chased the peasants. And we just got caught up in the middle of it because we were camping. Well, I don't mind losing some peasants. That's fine. They can do what they want. A little worried about the marksmen. And that's about it. Everything else shouldn't be too bad. Oh, they're aiming for our new characters. Those are evil ways. We need to keep our new people alive. Catalan, let's start killing some people. You love killing brigands. Uh, that's a 45 armor. That's a 35 armor. Sure. Oh, he literally lives with, like, one health. Five health. Okay, let's finish him off. And then finish off this weak one. Nice. Run up with the tanks, wherever our tanks are. Gertrude can run up here. Crushed windpipe is negative 10 fatigue per turn. Whoo, she ain't doing anytime, anything anytime soon. So keeping her on a high ground is a good idea. They've got a lot of minstrels. Beautiful snipe. Oh, and this is so good for a quest with a head count. Yeah, I'm not upset about this fight. We just have to be careful that we don't overextend and do anything stupid. Which I've, I've done before. So, we gotta be careful. And the problem is we have three lines of units, so it's so hard to organize them. 6 AP to attack, so move two spaces and attack. Uh, we'll wait on your turn. Riviere can do two attacks a turn. So Riviere can come up here. I'm thinking that's a really good idea. Gives him the extra bonus. Or should I move him to attack first? Godfrey should go there. Snake can come up here. Thistle can take the middle. Baojuin can go up here. Either we go here and attack once this turn, or we go up here and attack two times next turn. And I'm thinking two times next turn with a 10% height advantage is technically worth more. Roscoe, let's rush. 
I don't see a problem with rushing that, except Marco could rush there instead. Kind of didn't want to go there, but that's okay. Marco can rush up here. Nice, that breaks him a little bit. Orbane can go here. 70% to hit, that is so nice. Thistle takes the middle. And just shield walls, because there's not much else he can do. Olaf can't do much. Let's put him into a safe spot here. Camilla has a good chance of doing damage over here. Beautiful. That was a nice chunk. Too bad she didn't do more. Oh, ho, 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 ho. see, this is why axes are good. Only for one thing when you're a duelist is hitting a headshot. It does 50% extra damage. So that normally wouldn't do that much damage if it wasn't a headshot. That was just destructive. Almost two shots in. Uh, snake moves up here. Unfortunate miss. Uh, Godfrey goes here. Can't do anything else because he's got no movement. The tank goes here. Beautiful. Not sure where to put everyone else. It's a safe little haven we've put in here, so Koro could actually go here and be safe. Except for the throwing weapons. Don't want to speak too soon here. Oh. That didn't do that much damage. That did 11 health. That was a nice low roll. Okay. Maybe it's the big fights, but the enemies are moving a little slower than I'm used to. Okay, I think we can rush up here. It makes him a little bit vulnerable to arrows. Really? 27% chance to hit Riviere. I was like, he's on the high ground. He can't be that easy to hit. forgot they're going to rush through here. We've got to be careful. But moving here is not a bad idea. They don't really have much else to rush us this way. In this center spot. And I can put Zan over here. To sort of defend the archers at the moment. I can put you here. Or here. That's good. Theoric, I'm a little worried about this flank. Kind of should have put you where Koro is at the moment. But we'll put you here. That's okay. And then Black Dog, how are we going to assist? You've got really nice armor. We can be a little risky and defend the flank. Maybe go for a nice daze. Beautiful. Okay, can we get a daze off? No. Koro doesn't have the best attack. When he hits, it's like once in a moon. Once in a full moon. Okay, I'm kind of annoyed that Godfrey just got hit twice in a row by someone with a flippin' pick. What was he rolling on? 38% chance on one of our best tanks. I don't think our best tanks are actually doing so well. Uh, we should counter snipe. That would be really useful. Okay, one of those shots hit. That was good. Okay, you accidentally missed. That's okay. That was a really good hit. I was not expecting that to hit. Crossbow can go for... No, not very many good hits. Just a collateral? 
No, that's okay. Yep, they've realized their middle is being overrun. That's good. That's very bad. Please don't. Don't double time this. It's a 20% chance to hit. Okay, the peasant wants to die. <laughs> the only bad thing about peasants is they let the other guy... What? 18%. Rolls of four. Um, the bad thing about peasants is... If they die, the enemies can rally off of that, and that's painful. Hit her in the head for 50% extra damage. That's rough. What? 73% chance. Okay, that makes sense. But a farman has polar mastery? He went two spaces and attacked us. Wow, I did not know that. Um, that's annoying, to say the least. Now, do we attack him or do we just... Yeah, we can attack him. Twenty-two percent to hit chance to hit our tank. They're just hitting every single hit. Uh, Riviere, two hits, please. Kill those annoying farm hands with pull arm mastery. That's cheating, I say. <laughs> Marco with the double hit. Beautiful. That was luckily a peasant, not us. His turn's done, so we can technically scare him. No, that's not gonna work. 37% It's not enough. 42 is not enough. Our brand new person's getting wrecked. Uh, can go for 35? Nope. 292s, that's good. Our amazing tank got hit on a what percent? A 35... She's got her shield wall up. And a raider hit her with a 35% chance. I am so confused by all these numbers and why they're not in our favor. Uh, 49%, please. Nope. Okay, Black Dog, you just beat his head in. Amazing. Okay, that's so annoying. Beautiful snake. Can I knock him down? Are you kidding me? He's a flippin' tank. Where are we going with this? Gotta worry about these. Five percent for Koro. Thirteen percent miss. That's nice to see every now and again. That's not nice. Twenty-one percent. Oh boy. Okay, at least the sword guy hasn't gone after us just yet. Uh, Gertrude, we have literally nothing for you to do. Except she's probably gonna die if we're not careful. Okay, that was a very helpful hit. This was meant to be an easy fight, but with all these numbers... Not having the easiest time, I have to say. Okay, Catalin. Beautiful shot. One more, please. Double kill. And it breaks the guy in the front. We're coming through when we need your headshots. Beautiful. 51 kills his friend. Oh, that's so good. We just instantly changed the battle with that. Instantly switched over to winning. I don't like our situation, so let's move here and go for that hit. 
And we miss a 60%. We don't miss that 60%. This raider is untouchable, almost. Oh, I'm kind of worried about Xan. 17 defense against a marksman in melee. We could break him. 50%? No. Okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Oh, well, that was worth a try. Gertrude survives, and we chase down enemies here. Snake, why are you getting hit? I mean, you've got the armor to take a hit. That was a beautiful hit. Worried about rushing that raider. We could take out some archers, Marco. Definitely could do that instead. Yeah. Okay, that's a peasant dead. 80% Riviere. I think that's a good choice. Go again, hit the body. Oh, fudge. That's annoying. Corbane comes in. Camilla, I'd love to put her up there to help these guys. I'd love her to be down here, too. Down here has the strongest enemies at the moment. Okay, we'll put her here. Uh, we're going to wait for Baojuin to move out of the way. This old beautiful... Beautiful, instantly broken snake. Come on, man. Come on. Chop his head off. Come on, do it. No! Godfrey misses as well. Okay, that sword guy really hasn't done anything. That's good for us, in a way. Also, rotating him out, that's mean. Again! No, no, crossbow. Oh, no. Why is it crossbows that always hate me? I can't believe he's rolling on a 43 with her shield. Oh, but I remember, we're not building a uh, range defense on Camilla. You hit him in the head. Peasants are helping a little bit. Not really. They think they're helping. Wait, Koro, we can move you out of the way. Zan, I guess we can rush there. Oh, rotate. Oh, no, he has a flail. Oh, that's bad. Don't like dealing with flails. Uh, can we please go for a collateral? Beautiful job. And we missed the other collateral. That's okay. That's unfortunate. He's fleeing, so we just go for this guy. 86 and then we miss. 86 and we hit him in the head. That's rough. Marco, you aren't missing a hit. Nicely done. Camilla, please. Yes! We finally got a hit. Okay, we finally didn't hit him in the head. And Black Dog? Come on. Beautiful. Riviere gets a... Tw misses a 95? Oh boy. The enemy definitely are better than us today. 
Uh, Thistle, chase down the guy with the weapon so he doesn't run away. Beautiful damage. They're all fleeing. It's exactly what we want to see. Worried about the rangers, though. They could still pose a threat. Don't care about the peasants. Eh, I didn't accidentally kill one. Okay, that one can't run. Snake. Dang it. Snake's not having a good day. Wow, he dodged both of those? Damn. Okay, okay, this one's still alive. And still kicking. I uh, can't forget that, as I will forget it. Oh! What was that? What just happened? Since when are you allowed to rotate out people like that? Oh. And Rouvier is now low health because of what? Oh, aimed shot. An archer shot Rouvier. Holy crap. I'm gonna stop these archers. Should have moved up here first. Nice, that's what we needed. Beautiful snipe, Catalin. Oh, we hit the guy in the back of the head. That's okay. We forgive you. It was totally an accident. Okay, we're not going to do that again. Oh my goodness, these collaterals are horrible. Marco's getting exhausted, and so are we with all these failed hits. He's full health, and he's only wavering. That's not good. He's the biggest threat on the field at the moment. We did hit him, though. We did hit, and he's now fleeing. Okay, that was a little scary. Godfrey, please don't let him run away. Camilla, get the kill. Beautiful. Snake, can we chase? Yes, we can. Also, I forgot about this guy. And we're still missing with Godfrey. What? What? Oh my goodness, they're gonna get away. Nice, we got the kill. Missed 250%. Marco hits every single hit. Beautiful fight, man. Um, there's no way we can get... We can get this one, at least. But I don't think we can chase this one down. Because Godfrey's got a broken leg. Nope, not even without his broken leg. Can we stop? No. Dang it. Okay, we'll go this way with Camilla. We'll wait. And he's gone. And he's still running in circles, interestingly enough. So maybe we can chase him down. It's very interesting, sometimes enemies will run off the map, like, instantly. But in weird cases like these, they just run around in circles. 
I think it's got to do with the fact that there's still enemies on the field that are attacking. But even then, I've had it in situations where that doesn't make a difference. It's just weird. But if it gives us free stuff, then you can't really complain. Beautiful kill. Still missing like 450%. Peasants are in the way. He's fleeing now. Beautiful. Uh, let's go help chase that guy down. Riviera can do damage still. Ah, uh, we shouldn't chase down this. Too much effort. Camilla. Beautiful. Okay, maybe now he's trying to run off the map. I can never... That's... Uh, it's over. He's gonna run off the map anyways. Oh, well, we got some kills. Definitely some good kills. But sheesh, they got so much luckier than they should have been. And our knocked down two-handed sword recover gets traumatized. That's rough. The resolve is the worst part about being traumatized. It means your character can't really stand up to anything in melee ever again. And if you're doing like a mind over body build, just give up. Absolutely give up on that character. Uh, we got some decent loot. We got the Warbrand, which is, I guess, alright. It's good for selling. The Arming Sword's great. And some really nice helmets. Horrible armor that we don't need. Helmets we don't desperately need either. Just some stuff to sell. Sadly, we're a bit full on the inventory, which I still need to clean up a little bit. I keep trying, but it's not doing much. Let's give up on the ammunition. The little daggers, because they don't give you very much money for that. Uh, short bows don't give you much money. But I'm considering the ammunition's even worse. The loot's not worth anything. The hat's technically not worth much. And neither is the dagger. Uh, put that in front for auto loot. Which actually... Should switch it out for one of these. There we go. Auto loot sorts that out for us, and we're happy. Okay, how's our inventory going? <laughs> Look at all those injuries. Uh, banner or range, how's the stats going? Interesting to say the least. I mean, that is a plus four in resolve. It's also an infinite plus four in... It's a very confusing character to deal with. Because there's so many good stats that are potentially good. If plus fours are rolled very commonly on this character, definitely could be a decent banner. But if not, then their range is better for more reliability. There's no slings to get sling mastery, which is unfortunate, but hair splitter would be very interesting at range. And what else benefits from ranged headshots? Not much else. Like, push the advantage is alright, but you have to be really, really committed to that. Tumble and leap, all nice to move around the map. Very expensive to move around the map. Uh, Killing Frenzy's cool. It's a tier 7 perk now, which is interesting. You know what? I am interested to trying to make this a bard. So we can definitely get Keratin back in, because that's what we're trying to get here. But the 38 health is so rough. <laughs> we got to get 9 lives pretty quick for you, man. 
yeah. Because then we can go mind over body into rebound, which I think is on here. No, it isn't. But there is mind over body. But there's no rebound, and there's no recover. Oh, then it's just not going to be the best banner. Hopefully I didn't just screw this. I'm trying to think, is there any other way to do this? I guess entice and all that's helpful. And matching set is 5 fatigue per round, as long as your helmet and armor are matched. That's actually really good. We could do matching set to get more fatigue instead of rebound. It actually works, in all honesty, matching set is better than rebound, if you can keep on top of it. Rebound is this cheap way out. Matching set's the difficult way to do it. So, yeah, we can actually keep this, and this can actually work. So, Keridan, we are subbing you back in. You're back on the bench, off the bench, if that's how we want to say it. Nimble can keep you alive with your horrible-looking health. And matching set will probably keep us on top of most of what we want to spend with your spells and abilities. Because here's the cool part. We can use um, Rally the Troops and the Banner abilities whenever we need to, but when you're not doing that, you're going to struggle with your melee skill a little bit, and if we ever need to be supportive, we've got Entice and Revolt. So it's an at-range Shield Bash and an at-range Hook. So we can be like a complete support-based uh, banner, which means we don't need to put too much into it. I guess that does sort of base off your attack. So we're still going to go with attack, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll go with student, or should we go with nine lives right away? You're not too far off of a level, so maybe we'll go with nine lives right away. Just in case. We kind of don't want to lose more people. Two-handed cleaver. Oh my goodness, and plus one is so bad. We still have to take it. Uh, plus four is great. We'll go into gifted. Plus three, plus three, plus four in the health. No. No, no, no. Health isn't that pop popular and important because we have Colossus. We can sort of ignore a bit of health. So what do we need? We will need uh, fatigue. We also need resolve a little bit. Okay, we're going for the Resolve, and then we can dump stat the Fatigue. Sounds good. Uh, who else do we have leveling up? We have our Two-Handed Sword Recover. Man, everyone got their butts kicked. Oh, uh, that's a beautiful plus three. And... zero Resolve. Oh, because of Traumatized. Oh, I hate that so much. It's down to 17. There's literally no reason to ever give this person Resolve ever again. Can we go Polar Mastery to utilize her somehow, or just go into range? No, we can't go range. Sling is just horrible on this. Pull arm, but then there's no clarity. Okay, we'll just keep it up. We'll try, see how it goes, and hopefully... I mean, there's Colossus, there's everything else is good. We're just going to stack up the Resolve, then. And try and just live with Traumatized. It's not the recommended way to do things, but I think it's the only way we can do it. Yeah, let's see how we go. 21 Resolve. Uh, the Peddler... Can't remember if we had a request for a certain type of build for the Peddler. But I think we're going with the Nimble Tank, because that's the stats that we have at the moment. That's why I wrote it there. There's no Colossus, so we really have to live with what we have. Yeah, just go with the health. Sadly, that's the really low rolls. We just have to live with them. Uh, there we go. Learning quickly. And that's everyone. 
Sheesh, there's so much to do. And we were selling really good here, so we could sell again. Is there anything we can sell that gets us a lot of... No, we have to repair. But we're out of tools. Oh, the constant struggle. The constant struggle. Can we... Oh, we can actually salvage, though. Quickly, hopefully. Uh, we can get rid of these, because they're useless. These are pretty useless to us at the moment. Not sure about that drum. We're holding on to it just in case. Man, we're not going to have enough tools for all this. Salvage some of the shields. That's not a bad idea. Uh, salvage some of these armors. And maybe the really crappy helmets. That's a 55 base, isn't it? No, it's a 60 base. Okay. Okay, let's quickly camp. It's a lot to salvage, a lot to repair. We have all the heads we need for our quest, so that's really good. Oh, I kind of just realized, with our camping, I forgot to switch them. Almost everybody's working on healing. Well... Let's put everyone back on salvaging and put a few people on repairs. Okay, we're out of tools again. Please tell me they restocked their tools. They did not. How's their prices though? Have they changed? They haven't changed their prices. So we can sell the cheap sword. Uh, the militia glaives, I think I was giving up on. I know they're spears, but I think we were giving up on them. We can give up on the crossbow, because we have another one. Uh, that's way too many throwing weapons. I love throwing weapons, but I think that's too many. Other than that, that's okay for the moment. Let's try and finish this quest so we get the money. Oh, there's footprints. They're chasing after peasants or something. Scary footprints everywhere. We move on. Yes, we do. Please have tools. Oh man, they're so upset. Really? It's like double the price. I mean we're rich. We have to get tools. We can't survive without tools. And is that another cheap armor? That is a cheap armor. Interesting backgrounds. Not super desperate at the moment. Who's the last place to go to? Grunland. You know, I kind of want to go the long way around. Don't want to get attacked. Please, no. Okay, good. There's lots of bandits down here. Please have some cheap stuff. Some tools for 384. You don't have to buy two of them. Uh, cheap 55. And that's about it. Anyone interesting? That is a Swordmaster. Not what we're looking for. Killer on the runs are pretty cool. Yeah, no. No. I mean, Iron Lungs is cool, but they're not great at range. Fisherman's pretty cool. No, that's okay. Let's keep traveling. That is a pretty cheap Beast Slayer with a really good attack. Pull Arm with Clarity, that is definitely a valuable person to pick up. 
Let's take him. Militia, mm, maybe. Hunter looks really cool. Is really bad. Militia is good, but greedy. Don't like that. Hmm. That's a militia with two levels. With triple range attack. Throwing mastery, it'd just be a permanent throwing person. That's the thing I hate about militia. Why are they only good at throwing weapons? They're not good at any other ranged weapons. You'd think a militia for a town would be good at ranged weapons. We already have our throwing master, don't we? She is Camilla. She's the militia. We could have a second Camilla. If that person rolls really well. Rally the troops as well. We are spending all of our earnings. Do we want a second Camilla? Recover, bags, everything. Even a possible banner with the double resolve. Ah, oh, it's worth trying out. It's so worth it. Okay, what did we get? We got a Beast Slayer with very good stats in both. Definitely worth it. Uh, sad that he's slack, but that's okay. An amazing health pool. And any fancy abilities? He's got net throwing and stuff. That's not bad. Has practically everything you want. And the... Oh my goodness, there's a 60 melee skill. Yeah, I think we got ourselves a second Camilla. It's funny, her name's Orcbane. Has she killed an orc? Nope. We have someone who has. Uh... This is just great. Absolutely great stats. And cannot be a banner because... Actually, it could. But this is no mind over body or anything good like that. Yep, loving it. So we've got ourselves a second Camilla, which is... Uh, what was it? Pull, arm, slash, throw. Yep. And actually, she came with some pretty good armor, too. A pretty good attachment. 55 for 7. Get rid of that. Give her a 30 base. There. These throwing weapons are coming in handy. Very nice. Give her a shield. And now she looks just like Camilla. Go Camilla number two. And Mr. Tracker over here. Melee skill. He's gonna have to just be a polearm guy again, I think. We really love our polearms. This is... Polearm with... Is there mind over body? There is not. Actually, I have an idea. I did have a request for someone to look at the balance build. With initiative and attack. With his really good health if we ever need it. He has Relentless. His defense is not so great. He gets dodge. Actually, this will be an experimental build. Experimental um, balance slash dodge. We want to see if we can make this build work. I haven't done it before. I've had a request to have a look at it. And I, I'm not convinced it's a good build. Because balance is, like, super, super hard to deal with. It's a perk that you have to put so much effort into making sure it works well. Because every point difference between the two decreases. So it's just hard to keep up. But we're going to try and go with dodge, relentless, and balance. Obviously going with nimble as well to make it even more OP. But seeing if it's actually possible. Lithe, definitely going to be helpful. So we're going to go full defensive. Uh, whilst trying to go with melee skill and melee defense. And there's no duelist. Duelist would be really, really cool on this build. Uh, maybe we could go like a Spearmaster. That would be interesting. 
We'll have to try it out. Definitely interested in it. And we are running out of time, so I will apologize. Let's quickly get back this quest. Was there anything I was missing? Dyes are insanely expensive. Selling for 15. Tools still expensive. Uh, are we repairing what we need to repair? Definitely could repair some helmets whilst we're waiting. And I've got to fix up everyone's uh, armor off camera. And also, I just realized, the tower shields are definitely going to be useful soon. I'm just worried that 21 fatigue is not enough for our tank. There we go, 4.6k. All that money we spent is all back. Totally worth it. Is there anyone else? There is a rat catcher. I did have a request for a rat catcher build. But I'm kind of hesitant on the double-tongued. So that might have to wait till next episode. Apologies for that. There's a eunuch here as well, interestingly enough. Lumberjacks could be good sometimes. Interesting backgrounds all around. Tools are just so hard to come by. We are not doing well with tools. That's a worrisome thing. I'm loving the cheaper armors. And I think we're going to have to capitalize on these lovely little cheap armors here. 248. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. 184 for 55. Sure. Spend a little bit of the earnings, and off camera I'll organize all these armors up. Definitely need it. And it'll keep us going for a long time. What is she missing? It's gotta just be brawny. We've really decked her out in some heavy armor. So I think once she gets up to brawny stages, then she can uh, wield her tower shield. It's 21. Is that enough to move around in? I mean, what's the big difference? Not much. She's still gonna keep moving. She's gonna get an extra... What is that? Literally 10 extra defense? Okay, then I guess it's worth it to grab it now. And who else could possibly wield it? Can Mr. Godfrey or... No, Thistle's a nimble. He can't use it. No, actually he can. Huh. He doesn't have his rebound yet, but he can use it. That's right, because Nimble only bases off your armors, not your shields. Huh. Definitely, definitely a nice upgrade. We'll have to find another one eventually for Godfrey. Definitely good stuff. Actually, quickly before we go. Pull arm slash throw hybrid. Nice plus three, that's a great way to start a hybrid. What does she need? Uh, stamina? Yeah, her stamina is a little low. And health. No Colossus. She needs health. Sweet. Uh, I need to remind myself that's a hybrid. H-Y-B. Hybrid polearm throw. There we go. And Mr. Expert Balance Dodge will go with initiative, melee defense, and melee attack. Because he already has decent resolve. Health could do with a little boost. Actually, one defense or five health? Thinking the five health is worth it. Sweet! Uh, we'll see how we go with this build. Very new and interesting. Not sure if I have the highest hopes for it, but it is worth trying out every now and again, some new stuff. Uh, what the heck do we give to a tank? Pathfinder? Sure. No, that's a hybrid. Put hole throw. Then we give her recover. Sweet. Okay, anyways. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode, and I hope you love the fact that we are coming back from defeat, getting really decent cash stacks, some brand new people, and super struggling with these tools, man. I am not enjoying that, but we have to find ourselves 
a fancy place that sells good tools and just live around there, basically. Just live next to a tool shop. But till next time, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.